Welcome, ladies and fucking gentlemen, to uh, another to an episode of the Greasy Special Podcast. My name is Ari. Hi. <laughs> name is Brian. The cat's getting close to getting slapped with the pickle. And I'm Chase. And I'm Swix. <laughs> and uh, we're here. We got uh, we got some food with us. We'll be talking and eating, talking mm-hmm. about what we're eating. Talking about stuff related to what we're eating, mm-hmm. and a bunch of other few stuff that uh, comes up on the side. So today's menu is uh, we've got some KFC with us. Most of us got a chicken sandwich, but uh, just so you know what everyone's mm-hmm. eating. Uh, I'll start with myself. I grabbed myself the spicy chicken sandwich with some popcorn chicken and their fries. I also grabbed myself a drink of some lemonade because I thought lemonade is usually good with chicken. Mm. Uh, today I got the crispy chicken sandwich with side of gravy and mashed potatoes and a little bit of pickles, but those are weapons against my cats fighting over the cat bed. <laughs> I have, uh, I, I also have the spicy, uh, chicken sandwich. And, uh, me and Skylar, for reference, we're both in the same place right now in order together. Um, but I got the spicy chicken sandwich. She got just the normal chicken sandwich, I believe, yeah. Yep. And we got the, uh, what was it, the sandwich box, though. Right, it came with, like, three sides. Right. So I got a thing of fries, which I already ate. I wasn't letting those get cold. Um, and then uh, some mac and cheese and uh, mashed potatoes and gravy. And what did you get for your sides again? Cuban. I got two mac and cheese and mashed potatoes. Yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> <laughs> and then we both also got strawberry lemonade. Because, yeah, lemonade does sound nice with chicken. Yeah, stuck in the bag that's a... I think that's just how it is. It's like naturally when it comes to just American culture in general. It, it, chicken it's a good acidity chicken. to it, you know? It complements it. Yeah. I got Mountain it's Dew. It's good acidity with... <laughs> <laughs> you traitor. You fucking... You didn't say you had a drink. I don't... Oh my god. What? I told you I had a drink. <laughs> it was the Whatever, dude. man. Anyways. Whatever, man. What would I do? Has anyone... Has any have any of you taken a bite out of your sandwich yet? I have not, but I do have it laid out uh, before me. It's gone. Not <laughs> no, right. You ate it. I mean, I mean, if you wanted to, if you wanted to take a bite, I, I'm going for, I mean, I'm going for one right now. Yeah, I, I will as well. Here. Oh, yeah. We're all eating together, family. I mean, I still have several bites left. No worries. Hmm. Oh. Okay. That's a fast. So, mm. that has a lot more kick than I expected. Yeah, I, didn't, I actually didn't expect that. That uh, where he, eat. I didn't really taste much of it, but I feel like in the back of my throat there, it's not bad. No, yeah, honest. of course. I've actually also, been impressed with it. I normally hate pickles. Uh, I'll, I'll be honest, I do not like pickles on my sandwiches. I'll eat them with other things though, and it's fine. But um, mm-hmm. they're really good here, actually. Mm. No, yeah, like I, like. You said earlier, it's acidity with chicken. That works. Um, oh! Thank you for the subscribe. <laughs> Ooh, I, was not right, I was not ready to be subscribed to That's a KFC that. fan right there. Yeah! Oh, thank you so much. That's ridiculous. Let's get a round of applause for that. Holy. <laughs> KFC right the KFC jokes. fan right there. Oh, man. But anyways, yeah, pickles... Um, pickles when it comes to chicken sandwiches, I think, uh, just generally go good. Just because that kind of sour acidity. Yeah, no, like, uh, um, have to it. I tried, mm-hmm. so I've had McDonald's uh, new crispy chicken sandwich, mm-hmm. right? which is mediocre, but it's McDonald's, so that's to be expected, honestly. It's just convenience. I think that's the only reason I go that's there. Yeah. Um, but no, I'm a, I, I might just be biased here because I don't like the Chick-fil-A company, but uh, I've had their chicken sandwich before, and it's also a little mediocre. Their, their sandwiches are really juicy. I'll give them that, but I, like juicy I don't think they have that much flavor behind them. I'll be honest; like they have a good sauce, and I think okay. that brings a lot of the flavor. But otherwise, I mean, like yeah, that's that's what it is with McDonald's. A lot of their stuff is very like relying on the sauce. Yeah, they're condiment heavy over there. I think it's like every mm-hmm. company when you think about it for fast food, it's just they're relying on their sauces. True. I mean, so we do got a. I've never had Popeyes before, so at some point we might have to do a Popeyes. Neither have I. Yeah. 
Probably not like next week though. We'd oh, have to next week. We we'd need to diversify take a... a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, of course. Yeah. If you take off the top bun though, uh, for the spicy chicken sandwich at least, you do see a uh, a decently orange layer there of some spicy condiment. Okay. Or damn bad. I mean, it's also it's also on the bottom bun as well. Is, is it? Oh, okay, so it is. It is on mine. So I, I got the regular yeah. sandwich, right? Do you have a condiment? Yeah. And um, well, yeah, I have a sauce. On, but... Okay. There's yeah, they almost gave me mayo. So, Skylar, yes. seeing as if seeing as me. it's your uh your first time getting KFC, what are your uh, what are your thoughts? Hmm. I like how big the sandwich is. Like you know really? you go to places and usually their sandwiches are kinda like beef. It's got some girth. Small. Yeah. Like these ones are at least like <laughs> thick and they give you That's a true. really nice crispy chicken actually. Not gonna lie, this is now my new favorite place. <laughs> 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 they give me enough food, you know? <laughs> yeah, of course. It's oh, a good so really? box is like 11 bucks. Yeah, so like it's- It's yeah. good amount of food though. Yeah, I mean, no, like, it's, it's a fine amount of food I understand for, like... the hype now in Japan. <laughs> Oh, oh yeah, man. that's right. I need this. Japan's person. just Japan has a weird uh, KFC hype. They worship. <laughs> they, really Super do. they worship the um, Colonel. <laughs> actually, actually, when I was there, we actually um, when we were when me and my family were there for vacation, <laughs> we actually had two nights mic. worth of KFC. <laughs> we had two nights worth of KFC. Yeah. Um, I think it was like one the first night and then another on the night before we left because just for some odd reason that hype for KFC in Japan was so big, at least in our area. Um, it was just there was a really nice quality to it. It was a uh, slightly terrifying because I compared it to like my usual experience with KFC here in America and I'm just like, hmm, Japan does Kentucky Fried Chicken better than America does Kentucky Fried Chicken and I don't know how I feel about that. You know, I think we need to import a uh, Kentucky Fried Chicken from Kentucky at some point. See if they do it the best. Mm. Honestly, Ooh. they might. Mm. I mean, I don't know, but never know. Mm. This actually, mac and cheese is really did creamy. K I know. Did KFC so actually originate from Kentucky, or is that just where the Colonel's from? Could be um, either or both. Mm. I do believe it's actually from Kentucky. Uh, they don't want to fact check that. Is that where it's I mean, I, I would Yo. assume so. Like, uh, imagine you're opening a, a new store, like a brand new local joint, and you call it Kentucky Fried Chicken, and it's from Ohio. And it's like, you know, no one's, <laughs> yeah, no. like, literally no one in the company has ever been to Kentucky or anything like that. They're just giving it, like, that sounds like a cool state. Right. I'd imagine Kentucky was related in the origin. Um... So yeah, I looked at I uh, I'm doing a fact check right now. It is headquartered in Louisville, Kentucky. There you go. Um, and uh, Colonel Har Harlan mm -hmm. Sanders, you know the uh, face of KFC, mm -hmm. pretty much, is uh, his logo actually began the chain from a roadside restaurant in Corbin, Kentucky. Ooh, there we go. During yeah. the Great Depression. Ah. Oh yeah. Backstory. Backstory. Ooh, let's go. KFC lore. You love to hear it. I love these <laughs> tiny condiment containers they gave us for the side. Are they reusable? Did he fight in World it literally War says reusable. Oh, nice. I have more Tupperware. Because yeah. that'd probably be like the best idea that I would have as to why he'd probably go like uh, Colonel Sand. Is it mm. Colonel Sanders? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Colonel Harlan Sanders. What a name, actually. Harlan Sanders? Honestly, I'd never want to go up against this man ever, because this dude probably <laughs> has, like, he has such, like, a lovable face, but the problem is he's probably such, like, the hardest man you'll ever, like, fight. Uh -huh. ever. Like, you could probably fight him in chess, and he'll just, like, beat you into the ground. <laughs> he'll just stare into your soul and just know every move you're gonna make. Have you, so, have you seen the Colonel Sanders dating simulator? <laughs> Oh, that man is buffing. <laughs> he he is it. toned. Yeah. Bro, I've heard about it. I haven't personally played it. Get out from beside I heard he is a bit of a dilf in that game. Oh. <laughs> a what? I'm sorry. You heard me? I don't know what that is. The current Okay, do so you know what a MILF look. is? Oh, yeah. Never mind. Never mind. Gotcha. Gotcha. <laughs> 
anyways, as I was saying, <laughs> yeah, no, um, it's actually super interesting that KFC decided to go ahead and just support this project of making like this whole game based off of a uh, based off of um. Well, it's not really based off of anything, but it does use the likeness of Colonel Sanders himself. Yeah. Um, just, I don't know. It's a great, it's a well-written game, too. It's not, like, super just out of place. Because I know there are places like the Pizza Hut, no, places like Pizza Hut, Domino's, um, McDonald's have done games before. Yeah. But those are all super old. Those were all for, like, Older consoles like the um, SNES and 64 and yeah, it's like they were older stuff. I'm gonna finish the sandwich. Right, finished. But like now we just have this game on Steam. Yeah. Um, let me see if I can remember the name of it. It is "I Love You, Colonel Sanders," a finger licking good dating simulator. <laughs> they had to and put finger too. licking oh good in it. It's... Of course. Why wouldn't they? I mean, it is a tagline. You probably get, you probably so, get a chicken sandwich in the game. But having a dating simulator and then saying finger licking good is a little odd. Mm. But it's, it's the theme. Also, I just want to say I tried the uh, mashed potatoes and gravy. Uh, they taste like mm. any other mashed potatoes and gravy I've ever had. They're not bad or anything like that. It's just nothing significant. I mean, you can't go oh, wrong with it. It's just potatoes. Well, now, yeah. the gravy, you could change up the recipe, but... The gravy's a little dark, actually, I think, if anything. Oh, mine was lighter. Well, That's so. burnt gravy, then. If mm. it's darker, then it's burnt. We got uh, burnt you got gravy. burnt gravy. <laughs> I got burnt gravy. Uh, <laughs> and that's just a local gravy. thing. I'm Oops, sure they're not please. normally like that. Though. Yeah, probably not. <laughs> but mine was gravy. pretty good. Mine was pretty creamy, actually. It's a... So maybe they put burnt. it a little bit. Yeah. Deeper. Okay. You also burnt. Yeah. Yeah. I had, I had dark spots in mine. I didn't mention earlier, but yeah, they are definitely. I didn't even similar. consider that. <laughs> oh. Fuck. Is that my rage emoji. Uh oh. <laughs> yeah, I just dropped yeah. something just now. Don't worry about it. I'll pick it up later. It'll be fine. Um. Personally, I actually really enjoyed the sandwich, but. You can't go wrong really with good. putting a chicken between two buns. See, cat, that's I'm, how you I'm, get you stuck. You can if it's not juicy enough. What was that? My cat has decided to climb in between my bed, so it's like my bed is like right up against the wall, and you know how cats just right. wedge themselves between areas. Well, she did it. <laughs> the she man, me right. that's just what cats do. Um, what was I gonna say? Um, <laughs> I mean, when it comes to the, just the chicken sandwiches overall, the only ones I've ever tried are um, KFC. I haven't gotten a chance to buy Popeyes yet because it's either usually um, they either the, the one restaurant doesn't have it or they're out. Yeah. Um. I have had Chick Fil A's before. I haven't tried. I have yet to try McDonald's. I've had one from uh, Raisin Cane's, which is like a more southern joint. I've also had one from Cookout, also a kind of southern joint. I think it's not that southern. This is when I had it. I was in the Carolinas, so yeah. Um, I've never heard of either of those places you listed. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I would definitely say I would definitely put KFC's chicken sandwich up there. I would oh, say yeah, yeah for sure. I think I was alluding to it a little earlier. I would put this higher than, than Chick Fil A, uh, like oh, 100%. Because yeah, I think Chick Fil A, all it is is just their Chick Fil A sauce, and that's really why everyone just loves Chick Fil A. Other than that, mm -hmm. it's just a pretty juicy chicken. But this chicken's also pretty good if it, even if it's just a dry dry chicken. Sometimes. That's... Now I got an extra crispy chicken, so that's why it was dry. But you guys got the super spicy chicken, so it would have been juicier than mine. It so good. it's but it the thing is good. the thing is despite oh. the fact that it was juicier it would it still had a really good crunch to it oh of course mine had a pretty pretty good crunch to it and i absolutely that, like... loved it that's what i wanted like i think one of the biggest selling point the biggest selling points to kfc itself is the way they develop that breading on the outside of their chicken mm -hmm. 
Yeah, that shit is consistently crunchy. And, and it's when so you get good every inside time. Inside to it, it's just so good. I also absolutely love that they just have like their what is I, I can't remember the numbers. Is that another another Oh my god. Hi Sean! Hi, thank you for subscribing. <laughs> oh hold on, now nope. I gotta go do that. <laughs> so much. Oh gosh, I'm just gonna have all the subscribes today. <laughs> <laughs> I told you to use my prime one, yeah. You would, thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> ah, it's so nice. Money in your pocket. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Um, uh, anyways, Chase, you were saying? I was saying. You were saying. Then I forgot because Ooh. I realized that I couldn't remember the number of it, though. But they have like, is it like, it's it's something around like 13 and 5 like spices and herbs that they have. Yeah. And I, I remember like a really 15, fun, actually. 15, that's what it is, yeah. Um, Again, I didn't remember the number though. But I absolutely love, I don't know if they still have this and I want to double check it. But if you're gonna, if you would go to uh, KFC's Twitter though, uh, they were only following like a couple accounts. Mm -hmm. And it was basically just like five guys, five random guys named Herb. <laughs> and then like a bunch of like Spice Girl fan accounts or something like that. That's so funny. Yeah, oh. that one guy then guessed why they were all following them, but they only added up to like 14. And then he guessed the last one, which was Salt, wasn't it? Yeah, okay, so let's see here. So they're following 11 people. It looks like, yeah, they're following all of the Spice Girls, and then just some random guys named Herb. <laughs> Actually, all, okay, not random guys. Literally all of them are verified. But, um, yeah. Hmm. But yeah. I um, think that's hilarious. <laughs> Fact-checking that. Um, so you said, yeah, it, it says here that the original recipe consisted of 11 herbs and spices. 11 um, herbs and spices, then. okay. Wow, we have terrible memory. I, was, I mean, I just threw out a random number. I just knew it was a, like, I knew it was a double digit. That was all. Mm. I didn't know if they split up the Every spice and herbs, season. though. That pretty much just explains Absolutely. why. I'm working on the. It pretty much it explains why a lot of their breading is just like, instead of just being this crunchy skin on the outside, it's actually like flavored. It's yeah. Like flavorful. Yeah. And all like, the little flakes that I fall guess... off I've been chomping on in the other day. They've got kick on the breading. <laughs> I mean, I would assume so. Yeah. Because, like, so here's the thing. When it comes to spicy chicken sandwiches, some people rely on the spread that goes on the buns to really make it spicy. Somebody, re Some people rely on in, what was it, mixing in that kind on of, like, those the spices, spices on the breading the, and such. Yeah, into the breading. KFC literally did both. And yeah, that's what I was going to say. They're doing both here. Yeah, they're doing both here, and now my mouth just kind of hurts. <laughs> like, the edges of my lips are stinging. Yeah. <laughs> just the tiniest bit. That's how you know it's good, though. No, oh yeah, it's of course. Biased. It's not some BS heat. I want to, I mean, I should stop comparing things to McDonald's because that's a really bad comparison. They will, for mm -hmm. America. They always win, yeah. But I mean, like, there's literally, I don't have a car. Right now, currently, I do I have a car, car, but it's just not. Yeah, <laughs> she's the one that has the car. She drives me around. But um, now I don't have a car up here though, uh, in Lancaster, and it's like uh, there's a McDonald's mm -hmm. right across the street. So it's like it right is so door. easy for me to go over there. Mm -hmm. But no, when the uh, spicy chicken nuggets came out though, they're not spicy. I, there's no, like not. there's a hint of like some sort of flavor or taste or anything like that. Otherwise, though, they nothing. Literally nothing. I was concerned for a second that I actually didn't get the spicy nuggets, and they only gave me normal ones. Yeah. And then I got them a second time. Sure enough, it was the same damn thing. <laughs> no, yeah, it's pretty. That's pretty much just like a marketing thing. It is. What I yeah. think. It's just they added the tiniest bit of extra spice in their breading, but then that's about it. Hey, look at your. your... What? Look at your printer. Printer? She's... Oh, hello. <laughs> your cat's like... She was hiding behind the back. On the printer, like, and it's like... My, my little shadow nice. with eyes. Yeah. 
<laughs> I just see, yeah, I just see, yeah, her shadowy eyes just appear She's from just, like behind the printer. You just see a, a a dark figure, and then all of a sudden, yellow eyes pop out, like yeah. <laughs> Hey, um, you might be right about that, Sean. He says in the chat, uh, it's a it's a spicy flavor, but it's not hot. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's, that sounds about right. That really wasn't that. much of a flavor, though. Like honestly, it just sucked. Have you tried the one spicy dipping sauce that they offer with the uh, nuggets usually? I I've had it once. I think it was okay. I I can't. I literally can't remember much about it though. I remember the other day, actually, I got a thing of uh, nuggets though. It's like one of like every sauce that i could just to try them most of them suck like oh my god their sweet and sour sauce that they have is actual garbage oh yeah a no, lot no, of those things i are, hate it yeah their honey mustard's good and their barbecue sauce is good i, I think that's the things i do fine they also um, apparently have a, buf one? a buffalo dipping sauce there too which i i've ordered it and every single time i order it i never get it i, I don't think it exists I'm always skeptical uh, skeptical about the buffalo sauce, so I don't usually get it. Yeah. Um. What was I gonna say? Oh, the honey mustard dipping sauce for um for McDonald's. I like. I like getting most of the time. It's just that I can't get like. So you know how usually when you get something like the twenty piece McNuggets, it asks you like you usually get. They offer you like three sauces with it. Yeah. I can only go two at most, no matter how many nuggets I get. Mm. Because here's the thing. The honey mustard at McDonald's is super thick, and it's heavy. Is so, it? Like, you get to, Their barbecue yeah, sauce you, is a little thick, but uh, their honey mustard, whatever I get, it's a little thin, actually. Um, I, I, don't mean in, I don't mean thick in terms of sauce. I mean thick in terms of flavor. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, right. Yeah, no, no. I, yeah. I got you. There. It's it's that honey mustard is heavy on the taste buds, and like after enough bites, you legitimately get so sick of it so fast. Um, but that's yeah. not entirely a bad thing. Uh, it just means that you're packing a lot of flavor into every bite. Uh, yeah. Normally, what I do is I I would dip for like the first bite, mm -hmm. and second bite I wouldn't. Uh, I would just do like every other basically. Yeah. That's pretty much what I do. I like cover well I'm one to just like eat a whole nugget in one bite. So I just like only cover like a fourth of the nugget and then chomp the whole thing down. Yeah. Oh, all the crinkle. Sorry, I'm sorry, I'm just doing a bag. I know. <laughs> hey. Um, look, it's a f look, it's a food podcast. I don't have to edit that stuff out. <laughs> that is it's just like to be expected. It's part stuff. of it. It's part of it. We're jamming. Also, yeah. wow, I just so I just finished all my food already, and um, yeah, I, I shouldn't say already. Yeah, it's been like a half hour since we've gotten it, so that makes sense actually. I'm actually full though. Yeah, I don't think I've ever like ordered like just like a combo thing from a fast food place and felt full afterwards or sick. I'm feeling well. I mean, I'm not feeling sick. So I should say I, I wouldn't only feel sick if I was actually full though. Regardless of, no, it actually, it did a good job satisfying. No, yeah, that's, it's really nice portions. Um, like the nuggets, I like how the nuggets, how like the, not the nuggets, the, um, the popcorn chicken. Uh, it, it says it comes in a large, but it doesn't offer any other sizes. So it's just like, we keep the word large just to market it. You just trust it, yeah. <laughs> you trust that it's. But it's like it's actually popcorn chicken. It's like there's that little there's that bit of like there's still that bit of meat in the center, but for the most part, it's like it's like how um, oh. sometimes when you do when you grill when you like kind of grill chicken, that like outer layer of meat gets like kind of hard, but not like a bad kind of stiff. Yeah, you know. Yeah, that's pretty much what the popcorn chicken is. It's that except you add in some breading, and it's really. Honestly, really addicting. It's why I get it every time I go to KFC. Thanks. I, I genuinely think that I should go to KFC more often. That was, that was good. Yeah. Mhm. Mm I usually get garbage fast. I used to give, <laughs> I used to give KFC a lot of um a lot of doubt just because, their normal fried chicken when you get to like the center of the, of the uh, of the breast piece, 
um it's all just me and it's kind of just like that's because with the way it is with um spices and stuff sure that flavor sinks but it doesn't sink all the way if the meat is like thicker yeah they're not gonna go through the effort of like marinating their chicken in like the bath there i, I feel like it's that it just gonna toss it go on it, it is fast I mean, food at the end of the day. yeah it i mean besides that would also be straying away from how the secret recipe works true yeah but um yeah it's just like when you get to the center, it's like the flavor is kind of boring, but that meat is still really juicy. But I guess that when I was younger, I didn't really understand the quality of juicy and tender meat back then. You just wanted, you just wanted just good like, tastes. Yeah, I, I just wanted, I just wanted my taste buds to dance through the night. Yeah. But uh, I'm, I'm finding other ways to vibe to the rhythm of flavors and taste. Wow, <laughs> yeah. you, <laughs> you put that in the poem, huh? <laughs> Give me a wrap right there yeah this all right i'm just gonna go. i'm just gonna go afk for like 30 seconds so i can go and pitch this okay basically just going back. i'm going to the kitchen to go to the trash can <laughs> and i'm walking back that's literally it i'm just getting out of the way understandable um hmm. i think for the most part the only other like fried chicken place you usually see in areas is like what no, Popeyes? Popeyes? Yeah. Been I've never been to Popeyes either. <laughs> no, I've I've never been to a Popeyes. There's I'm not a lot of people. Someone who's I just never really go to fast food. And I grew That's up fair. my mom is like, you know, she tries to be healthy all the time. Um I think I grew up most of my life eating stir fry. Uh so <laughs> that was like one of the only things that she knew how to make I mean, it was always good, but yeah. But I, I just having your mom's stir just, fry too. Yeah, she just <laughs> never, never took us to like fast food places. So, um, Fair. my dad tried, but I just I never acted. Yeah. <laughs> took all my other but, but surely, surely, Sky. When it comes to um, since you and I are from New Jersey, you've definitely had boardwalk food. Oh yeah, for sure. But like, I I wouldn't call boardwalk food like fast food. Like not like a, like I've never been to chain like fast food places. Okay, but that's fair. Boardwalk food I mean, is different though. Cause like, there's some they're fast, that, like... but they're like, they're technically not. They're like more home, home fast food ish. Like they're, they're local places and stuff like that. Yeah, it's not like. Um... They're, they're they're local fast food. Yeah, places. local. They're fast in food they're in its own category, but it's, it is not all of the food is like. Expected to be Oh, I mean, yeah, no, it's not saying that they I think most there. of the board walk I've ever had, though, was Bay French Fries. That seasoning. I don't know what it's called. I know whenever <laughs> I would uh, go out to boardwalks and such like that, like, we usually, like, eat out at some of those places. Because, like, there's I some of the, like, like the boardwalk like, restaurants you can go into. And, and it's, it. it is always, like, a, I think it's usually, like, a distinct hit or miss. Yep. With, uh, with boardwalk food. It's either really good, or it's like really greasy, and Which you just feel bad afterwards. You can't really fuck up. Yeah. <laughs> you can't I mean, fuck up. I think, in my opinion, one of the few things you can get from a New Jersey boardwalk that usually like stays consistently good are fries. Fries always stay. Yeah. yeah. I, I agree with that. I don't think I've ever had bad fries from fries boardwalk. and pizza because New Jersey had. Pretty good. If any of you live in New Jersey have been to the boardwalk before and you haven't had curly's Ooh. fries you definitely need to have them curly's fries are some of the best um we're not sponsored by them by the way this is <laughs> a very not sponsored by anything <laughs> we we're not sponsored be. by anything we, no we, we could we. be we could be sponsored oh. by anyone that gives us food and we'll um we'll Talk eat them about it. on the podcast judge we'll judge her <laughs> <laughs> do you think what you have what it takes to let like five four yeah. mediocre people eat your food <laughs> are you ready for that huh <laughs> go i'm just the head of what we are now <laughs> we're just what, gonna bully <laughs> some companies basically. into giving us food <laughs> listen listen i don't know man right now we just have positive views on kfc dog listen 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 we're all broke college right so i mean why not bully places that's food. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not in college. Kind of 
Oh, we just support. You're, you're the age of being. You're, you're in the you're in the age range. Enough. Yeah. Well, I'm graduating soon, so eventually that line doesn't apply to me any wouldn't apply to me anymore. But still, oh, again, true. Age also, I hack into the servers and change all your grade stuffs. Whoa. We're all young adults Whoa. that can't, don't have a lot of. Brian, hack into my grades and bump them up. Turn all my zeros into like Russian from 2016. <laughs> <laughs> um, I have I don't even know what we were last talking Good. about. Good. Uh, what were we last talking about? Uh, uh, boardwalk food. We were talking like about that. boardwalk food. I think that's uh, what was mm, mentioned there. Yeah. Yep. Um, I've only been to, a, I've only been to the New Jersey, uh, Ocean City, like uh, oh yeah, a, like I think twice, and I don't remember eating anything there to be honest. I've had boardwalk like pizza before, but it would have been like for either Maryland or uh Yeah, it doesn't count like, as New it's, Jersey. It, yeah, no, it's like it's not it was never like New York, New Jersey pizza or anything like that. So they were always like, okay. And they're not, you know, anything crazy. I do remember though, I've only ever had like New York authentic pizza once. And that was when mm. we had we went on the uh, the field trip to the Met. And oh, yeah, we bought two whole pieces. Yeah, so um, Madeline, who I, I think you guys know, Madeline, uh, she was like, hey, so like we were, we were both on break together, and she was like, hey, there's this local pizza place around here called Gotham Pizza. Last time I went, they were amazing. Gotham City? Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> and I was like, okay, uh, you know what? I, I had nothing else to do on the break, sure. It was like a 20-minute walk out the city and so 20 minute back so we only had like an hour break or something like that so 40 of it was just us walking it was well mm -hmm. worth it it was well worth it it was it was hands down the best pizza i've ever had first of all cool. and then it's like and then I, I just had it during the break there's like a couple slices or whatever and i was like this is good and then i, I remember i was telling skylar about it uh when we we're about to leave like we had like an hour before the buses left and she was like, let's get some pizzas to bring home. And I was like, all right, I'm on it. <laughs> like a soldier, i marching down to Gotham Pizza once more that day to get two whole, like, uh, pies there and bring them back on the bus. Yep. And I remember, like, we're, I get to the bus and we're all there. There's, like, uh, four of us there, me and Skylar, two others. Mm -hmm. And we're just like, we just have these pizzas on the bus, like, basically front row as well. So it's like, we're torturing everybody as they're walking past on the bus. They smell the pizza. Like, oh my, okay. And uh, one of our professors, uh, Professor Walk, he comes up on the on the bus to kind of uh, do his little attendance thing just to make sure everybody's here. And also just like a quick speech, like, you know, I'm glad you minded your manners, enjoyed your stay and stuff like that. And like talking about why it's important for us art students to look at that. And then he cuts himself off. Looks down at us and sees the two pizza. No, no, he sees one pizza. He looks at us. He's like, "Did you guys bring a whole pizza on the bus?" And we're like, "No, walk. We brought two. And then we pointed at the one behind us. And he, again, he's still he's cut off his little speech that he was doing. And he's like, "You guys just win. I don't I don't know what you but you won." And he like walks off the bus real quick and like he yells at the other professors that were like talking inside like. Did you know these goobers got pizza? What the hell? <laughs> it's uh, from a super solid place too, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Oh my god. Highlight of It was a highlight of the day because the Met is it's the Met night, but it's not my it's cup hard of tea. To get I excited think. about museums. Like if there's new exhibits, it's but it depends on the topic. Yeah. And it's always a pain in the face. Fun. <laughs> I really like seeing. No. Paintings and such like that. I'm not a traditional guy, though. So it's. Eh. I'll be honest. I'd rather go to, like, an aquarium. Than go to an art. Yeah. Despite being an art student, like, I'm an animation student, so art museums don't cut it for me. Yeah, sometimes. sure. This is a historical <laughs> art piece. But look at this. They are animated. <laughs> I'd rather go to a well, because um, aquariums have like, what are they? They have like traveling shows, and so this one aquarium. No, I'm saying you, you guys are mashed potatoes is open. They've just been oh, sitting there. Yeah. 
Fine. You have a lid that you can just it's put fine. on. It's it fine. Get cold. Anyway, back to my story. Um, yeah, there was this one aquarium I went to that was having um, a jellyfish. And that was probably one of the aquariums. Because, like, everything was dark and, like, some of the jellyfish were glowing. Ooh. Mm. I got really amazing pictures of it, too. Nice. Yeah. Um, so, that reminds me of like that's actually super interesting because the art program at my high school one of the field trips was actually to go to a zoo mm. during um, I did that too <laughs> we went to Lake Tobias <laughs> I remember going to a zoo but I don't remember what grade that was in anyways yeah we went to a zoo and like we had an assignment while we was there and while we were there and it was to sketch at least three different species yeah mm -hmm. we had a similar assignment as well we just had a Good five to ten or something like that but not of different species just of animal poses and such like that obviously it was encouraging to be first there but yeah because we're in a damn zoo not just like it's funny the lion it's funny because one of my classmates one of my classmates actually sketched a very did a very detailed sketch and coloring of uh of elephant fecal matter <laughs> why <laughs> and, um, and he went back and when the when our teacher looked at it he was like this doesn't count i, was like, yes, it does. It's a, it's a species of poo, and I'm like, that's horrid. That's disgusting. That's hilarious. You're terrible. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the teacher let him, like, the teacher passed him anyways because he explained his reasoning. True. Plus, I'm, I'm assuming funny. that they, like, were checking the work after they had already, like, gone to the zoo, like, at, at, like, the end of the day or something like that. So it's, like, can't really make up that time. Yeah. Yeah. You're just being smart did... about it. <laughs> because the animals were moving a bit too much, I made it a little easier on myself and actually sketched out the plants instead. Oh, I mean, there you go. There's a lot of diverse because plant life in these too. Because they did say species, I they never said animals. You guys were smart asses, <laughs> Jesus. Shut the fucking lions. Come on. <laughs> See, I tried to be a smart ass in my high school and then let it slide. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, it kind of just fun to give me zeros and yeah. whenever we were BSing something like that. Look, <laughs> we passed by the lion exhibit, right? And there are already seven of us, seven, eight of us already there, like already sketching away. And I'm like, okay, I'm not doing this. I'm not, I'm going to be a standout person and go find an exhibit where no one's at. Yeah. I end up finding myself at the rhino exhibit because it smells like god awful rhino. poo. <laughs> but still, I sketched a rhino. It was dope. Sketched a sleeping rhino too. Come I was on. an idiot, and I was uh, like, I didn't want to, because I'm, I'm not a huge fan of drawing. It, as I'm little aware. as that may be known, it has a graphic designer here that just also. Anyways, I didn't want to draw, <laughs> and I was kind of putting off the assignment when we were there. And I was like, you know what? All right, I'm just going to get it done in one trip. So I get up on the, uh, I don't know what it's called, actually. It's basically like a like one of those like tourist busts that just have like mm -hmm. the open like ceiling, though. So it's like it's just like a high rise bus. You can sit down, though, and, you know, you drive through all like the wildlife areas, though, and such. I get yeah. on that, though, and I was like, now I'm going to do my sketches up here. And when this is done, I'll have my thing done. Because they, they weren't always supposed to be sketches. We were also just there to enjoy the zoo, too. Mm -hmm. But, you know, also to study them and stuff like that. My dumbass was like, yeah, no, I'm going to get on a bus. So that'll be that'll be good for sketches. No, I was panicking because <laughs> <laughs> we're driving by and they're barely stopping. Yeah. Like, when they're stopping, it's basically like when a giraffe's, like, poking their head around or something like that. Like, who <laughs> knows? And, uh, yeah, so I'm just, like, furiously trying to get these, like, sketches in. But then, like, by the time I have, like, half the form rushed down, we've already driven past at a certain point that the angles changed. So it was an awful idea, and I turned it in, and my, prof uh, my I say professor, teacher was like, what the, what the hell did you do? And I'm like, I tried. I tried. <laughs> I mean, that's an honest answer. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a computer I don't know guy. What she wants. Yeah. Understandable. Um. Oh yeah. I guess it is. I guess it is actually pretty normal for um 
for our classes in high school, they just go out to like some place with animals and just have you draw them out as a fun little trip. Yeah. Have some fun. Unfortunately, I didn't. Hmm. Did you guys go on any shows when you were in high school for your art program at all? Or? For my art program? Um, no, I don't think so. We only went on two trips. We went to Lake Tobias once. And then we also went to a, a local graphic design studio. Yeah, unfortunately, not going. The farthest we've gone, like our own football field. <laughs> oh, yikes. Yeah, Ow. like we really did not go anywhere. It was really sad. Well, hey, I was told to field. go. Yeah, I was told to go <laughs> to um, the local community center. Had like nude models for art, so I was told to go there. You didn't, I'm assuming. Because... No, why would I? I was like small. I thought that was strange. I wanted to wait, mo wait, model, 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 model drawing. Yeah, model drawing from a community center kind of sounds sketchy. I know oh, that's why I didn't go. Plus, it was in Maryland. <laughs> <laughs> was... I don't know if that's like worse or better. I, I, but the context of how you said it, I'm assuming worse, but I don't know. Um... <laughs> I got, I had a model like drawing class at, at Hack here. Mm -hmm. That was, I was interesting. Okay, to be fair, I was like 30 minutes. So, the. It's, yeah. And so. The only place I city, know. I, the only, and like, yeah. this, the city part of it is like, the, the historical part of it is cute, but like. The rest of it. it <laughs> I remember, because I had met you there. Yeah. That place was a little run down, and especially yeah. when I went. Because half because the city was flooded. flooded. Twice yeah. Flooded. <laughs> I get there and it's like, uh, so we're, I, I think we we're just going oh, to like the the mall that was nearby. It was a it was a bad like local day there. Yeah. I get there though, and she was like, "Well, you, normally to get to the mall, you take a left here, but that area is flooded, so we're gonna have to go all the way around." I'm like, okay, yeah, that's yeah. normal. Okay. <laughs> Damn. It was bad. And then I left. I think they're doing okay now, but I don't know. Well, good for them. <laughs> <laughs> you check in on them and they just got like two feet of snow and they're submerged still. I feel bad. I, I told my the art water freezed teacher over. from high school that I would go visit back there. I also still have artwork. I always feel bad about that. I wouldn't well, concern yourself too much. I just finished my food. It's fine. Oh, same. Um, I still have a drink. My food is tucked you know away in my about? gut. Genshin Impact just got a uh, an update about 1.4 coming soon. Oh, that was a. <laughs> yeah, I saw the 1.4 update. They're having dating now. That's a thing. Dating? Oh, what? Yeah, yeah you, can, you, can, you, can, you can date oh, characters in Genshin? Yeah. Crazy. Here, on, I, I sent the link Jeez, in another group chat. I'll post it in here for reference. I need a waifu. Yeah, no, they uh, the, it, was, it was just a brief showcasing like of it. The, the... Um, the one guy from the Knights, uh, I started with the K, I think it's like Kaya. Kaya, there it is. He's dating the newest edition. I don't remember what the name I don't remember her name either. It's, I think it starts with an R. Oh, that was an S. Was it an S? Hold on, I'll check. I'll the newest what? Uh, newest character is a force. Rosaria. Rosaria? We were both wrong. I said Rosario it starts with an R. Vampire. Oh. <laughs> well, so I'm assuming everyone else is done with their food as well. Just some people have a drink still to go. Yep. I mean, I think my drink oh, is gone now. Oh well, okay. Well, considering everyone's done eating, I suppose that's a good place to kind of end it. Oh, okay. Dog, you can date the onion boy. <gasps> You can date onion. You can date the onion. Boy. You can date the onion. <laughs> oh, okay. Chung Young. You date yeah. cat girl. Um, Chung Young. Yeah. Um, I guess, I guess, a, I guess, I guess, a fun way to end these is like, uh, uh, I, uh, like, you know, once everyone's done and we're sure we're ready to wrap up, we'll just do two claps and then everyone just says thank you for the meal, like fucking <laughs> cringe babies. Oh. I don't know. 
All right, you little cringe babies, let's go. Get out of here. It's great. Look, it's kind. Look, it's kind of cringy, but like, hey, it's a fun way to end it. Yeah, yeah I don't mind it. <laughs> yeah, it works. All right. Uh, before we go, I guess, does do any of you want to do a little uh, self plug? What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? Twitch.tv slash Squixy TV. Oh, come yeah, on. Come follow me. There on you go. Yeah. <laughs> you literally live streaming this right now. Yeah, suck it up. That's self promotion, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have uh, any platforms. I have Instagram, uh, just chase out Rosenko. I don't have anything currently yet. I'm about to have a website open soon. And, ooh, I am excited for it. Ooh. Right, I gotta, uh, I gotta show you some of my mood boards for it. I'm, I'm happy yeah, that's going. I mean, I'm restarting oh, my right. uh, Destiny project. I got a new oh. design for it. Ooh, I definitely want to see that. Well, no, we 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 got some some upcoming stuff. Mm. That'd be for me. Let's go. <laughs> uh, but, you know anyways, what? As for me, okay. Oh uh, no, you're no. You're, no, no, no I was doing the closing thing. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, yeah. So for me, you can go follow me on Instagram, Half Burned Pizza. Uh, no spaces, no capitals. Just spelled as how it is. Um, and then soon, eventually, Greasy Spatula will have an Instagram, Twitter. Uh, you know, down below, you can subscribe or just click the bell if you want to keep up with our podcast and uploads. Uh, and yeah, I'll see you next time. Thank Whoa. you, thank you, Emil.